What's up, everybody? Swiss Legend Neptune. I just changed the battery on this bad boy. I thought I'd give you guys a review and uh, let you know what I think of it. Now, it's a little small. This isn't the full size. This is like the mid size. But um, very nice watch. I've had two Neptunes in the past. I traded them for, of course, Grand Octanes. But um, they're inexpensive if you find the right deal, and they're very nice watches. Um, the full-size one, I really like the case design. Uh, very different than anything else you see out there. This one's got the uh, Mother of Pro dial, which really, really pops. And then it's a unidirectional bezel. So you got the bezel clicks. Um, it's white ceramic bezel, white ceramic case. And then uh, you got the gold on the lower part of the case and the lugs. And then a white strap that says Swiss Legend on it. The crown has a little uh, a cap, which is kind of like a Russian diver from Invicta, hangs so you don't lose the cap that goes over the crown. The little tiny crown there. The crown is at the 4 o'clock, not at the 3 o'clock like normal. Um, very cool watch. I mean, uh, let me pull my jacket up. And compared to uh, Grand Octane, not too big, but uh, there's a lot of you guys out there that like these smaller watches, and uh, this is a nice one. And this doesn't have a model number. I know people are going to probably ask me for that. And uh, there is no model number. I'm losing focus there. So I can't find a model number on it. I mean, I doubt it's like a Rolex where it's below the strap, but on the back of the case, there's nothing. And you know, all of us Invicta collectors, that's where we look. That case back always has a model number on Invictus. This one just says Swiss Legend Neptune, uh, water resistant, 10 atmospheres, 330 feet, stainless steel case, Swiss made movement. And this one does take a 371 Renata for a battery and uh, I figure we might as well set this one since we're at it right now so today is January 25th now I always like to uh, find out okay so the date change there so we'll push that in one click and we'll change the date to the 25th Okay, the date's at the 25th, and I'm going to pull that back all, all the way, which is difficult for my big hands in this little tiny crown. And we are at 555. And there we are. 555 on the 25th. Time is set. Crown's pushed back in, time is ticking. Now we'll put this little crown cover back on. And voila, we're back. So on most movements that don't have the day of the week, to adjust the date, you want to go clockwise. Or if you're looking at the watch, you want to turn the crown away from you. And if um, it has a day of the week, normally to do the date is towards you. And of course the date is always um, one click out and then all the way out, which is the second click is to set the time. So anyway, I thought I'd do a quick review. I like the watch. Personally, I wouldn't wear it. It's a little small. And uh, like I said, I'm six foot three, 270 pounds. I've got an eight and a quarter inch wrist and uh, I just think little watches look funny on me. I just don't like the way they look on myself. So I like bigger watches, and that's the main reason why I'm a Victor collector. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day. Make sure you're posting with that hashtag Big Time Gang. And um, God bless. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description.